Hello everyone, welcome to CyberEthics. In today's tutorial, we'll talk about Dimitri. Dimitri stands for the Deep Magic Information Gathering Tool. It is a passive information gathering tool that provides us with the publicly available information on our target. So here, we are not going to contact the target directly, whereas we are just going to look into the information that is publicly available on our target. So we just need to type Dimitri and hit enter. So it's going to give us all the flags that are available. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to do the IP address lookup. So it's going to search the whole internet and provide us with the who is information about this particular IP address. So for that, the command is Dimitri hyphen I and the IP address. So in our case, it's 131.107.0.89. So it's going to give us the IP address lookup. As we can see, we got, we got the results. And here the we get the IP address range block, IP address block that it's a part of and the net name and all the countries where its services are provided. So the next command that we are going to run would be to get the OS information regarding a particular domain. So here the command would be Dimitri-W and the name of the domain. Here we are using google.com. So as we can see that we got all the results, all the OS information. So here the information that we have is regarding the domain name that is the google.com and the registry registry domain id and the registrar who is server that is there in the registrar url abuse contact of the registrar so here we have the abuse complaint at markmonitor.com that is the abuse contact email address as well as the ab abuse contact phone number so we can use the this information to social engineer and get the usernames or passwords using these contact details that we have found the other thing that we got from here is are the server name servers that are the google servers that are available the ns1.google.com and ns2 and ns3 and ns4 these are the google name servers that we found so all this information is the who is information about the particular domain. You can use any domain as you like and get the who is information. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to search for the subdomains of the google.com. So here we can see that we found a lot of subdomains of google.com. So all these are the host names that are available and the IPs. So they are like all the subdomains of google.com that are publicly available. So here we have found like 42 subdomains. So if we need to find the netcraft information, if we need to find the uptime information, what is the operating system that is there, what is the web server that is here, so we just need to type the command Dimitri hyphen n and the name of the domain. So here we are using Google. So the command would be Dimitri hyphen n google.com. So as we can see that uh, we just got the host IP and the host name. We are not getting any information here. So, so this is one of the disadvantage of this tool that we don't usually get the netcraft information here so we need to use some other tools for it so the next thing that we are going to search for would be the port scanning tcp port scanning we'll be doing the tcp port scanning here so we are just going to search for all the filtered port or the open ports or the closed ports going to tell us about everything so the command for it is Dimitri hyphen pf and the google.com. So here it's going to search for all the ports. 
so it gave us the results for all the ports that are there and the, and their states as you can see some are open and some are filtered so it's just uh, giving us the filter as well as the open ports as you can see it says filtered so it means that there is this uh, there is some sort of firewall or any device that is like filtering out the packets and it's not going to it's not letting the scanner to search for that particular port so the scanner cannot identify whether the port is open or it's closed so it just shows that's filtered so there's some sort of firewall over there so as we can see that it scanned around 150 ports and 136 ports were in state closed and all the other ports it has stated that these are the ports that are open and these are the ports that are filtered okay so we are just going to find every email address that is associated with google.com so all the email address that this would be a google search basically so all the emails that are there on the google search that is related to this particular domain that we have entered would be listed here as we can see we found five email addresses for the host google.com so so by using this command that is dimitri hyphen e go and the name of the domain so here is dimitri hyphen e google.com so we got all the email addresses associated with google.com so as we can see we got all this information we got the who is information regarding the domain the who is ip address information then we got the emails registered with the particular domain and then we got the subdomain information so if we want to get all this information in a nice txt file so we can do that by using the command dimitri hyphen o and the name of the file that here we are using as results and then hyphen all the flags that we have used earlier so the flags that are associated with the particular field that we want we just need to find write that and then in the last we need to write the domain so in our case we have used the command dimitri hyphen o results hyphen w n s p e and then the name of the domain that is google.com so it just it's going to output all this information in the text file that is the results file so that can make a we can just document all the uh, results that we have found into this nice txt file i mean so that we can generate the report easily